Ladies and gentlemen here, uh, Mr. Ruti here going over unit three, lesson four, uh, practice problem uh, number two. Okay, so let's start by uh, reading the question. Okay, Andre and Priya are tracking the number of steps they walk. Andre records he can walk 6,000 steps in 50 minutes. Priya writes the equation y equals 118x, where x is the number of steps and y is the number of minutes she walks to describe her step rate. This week, Andre and Priya each walk for a total of five hours. Who walks more steps? Uh, how many more? Okay, so again, in this question, in this lesson, we are comparing more than one rate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to underline Andre's information in purple. Okay, Andre can walk 6,000 steps in 50 minutes. Priya, as I'm going to do in orange, Priya writes the equation y equals 118x, okay? Y is the number of steps, x is the number of minutes. All right, so what I'm going to do for each one is I'm going to make a table. Since I'm comparing them, I want to compare the same thing. Okay, so here I have the table for each one for Andre and Priya. So I'm going to start with the... Uh, Andre's here on the left. Remember, minutes is, M is minutes, so I know for 50 minutes, Andre walks 6,000 steps. Okay, so then if I, I can double, right? Keep doubling, halving. So what I'm going to do is I want to find out what it is for a one minute. So what I'm going to do is 6,000 divided by 50 that's going to tell me how many steps andre takes in one minute okay so i did it i calculated it here and i got 120. so i know that andre takes 120 steps every minute okay with priya's what i know the equation here is y equals 118x so that tells me that for one minute priya goes 118. Okay, so one way to also label these is with X here and Y here. Okay, so X is one, I multiply that there. Now what I can do is now to answer the specific question that it's asking me for is a total of five hours. So then now that I know what each person does in one minute, what can I do to find one hour is I can just, there's 60 minutes in one hour. So I'm going to find that row for each one. So I'm just going to take their unit rate times 60. Okay. So for Andre, I do 60 times 120 and I get 7,200 steps. For pre, I'm going to do 60 times 118 and I get 7,080 steps. Okay, and that's for just one hour. So to find the, the problem that the question is asking me for five hours. So what am I going to do? I'm going to do 60 times this number times five. This number times five. This row here is the one hour row. So I'm going to do that times five. Same thing for Priya. Since I know one hour, 60 is one hour. I'm going to do that number times five. That number times five. So I'm, gonna, so I'm gonna do 60 times five. That's 300 minutes, which is five hours. So that's 300 minutes. And then I'm going to do 7,200 times five, which is 36,000 steps. I'm going to do Priya's again. This is 300 minutes, which is five hours. 7,080 times 5, which is 35,400. Okay, so now I know what each person does in five hours. I Andre does more. How much more? To see how many more steps. So we know this one right here. Who walks more? Andre walks more. So to find out who does how many more steps Andre takes, I'm going to do this subtraction here. 36,000 minus 35,400. Okay, 
which is 600 more. So Andre does 600 more steps. Okay. And one thing I also want you to notice in, in, in doing this problem, we did a table. However, you can also do a graph. I like doing a table because I can. I know that because it's proportional, I can always multiply here. I know that three, five hours is 300 minutes. You can just do this number, 120, times 300, um, <clears throat> five hours has 300 minutes. You can just do that. Same thing here. You can do this number here times 300. That's the importance of finding the unit rate or finding the, um, the rate of change for this for each one. For Priya, you see the rate of change in the equation. That's that number right there. For Andre, what we had to do is we had to do this division. 6,000 divided by 500, by 50 is 120. That's the rate of change. And then we use that to fill in the rest of the table. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much.